I was getting ready to go to the gym, got my Ragnar shirt on, uh, going to um, work out, you know, do all that, hopefully trying to get bigger, right? And uh, wanted to tell you about sales in that bigger is not always better. As a matter of fact, smaller often works a lot better. Uh, now, a lot of people find my team and I via a Google search. They'll be searching for a term like Memberium expert, Infusionsoft membership site consultant, membership site consultant. That's our area, and we do a lot of work uh, with our content and with SEO to make sure that we rank high on those pages. So what's the person that do next? The next thing they do is they check out our website. They read the article they found. They check out uh, our team, our qualifications, who else we've done business with. And um, they understand about our capabilities, and our, our goal is for them to either call us, fill out our contact us form so that we can set up an appointment or chat with us via our website chat. Now, we spend a lot of space on our site providing information about ourselves. Who are we? Why we do what we do? What are our motivations? Uh, you'll see my picture all over the place. And it's not because I'm some egomaniac. It's because the more people see me, the more they feel they know me, the more they begin to trust me. So there's this trust walk that's doing. So if I have that conversation with this new prospect who barely knows me, you know, just knows pictures of a website, might have seen me on video, and I give them a really big initial project plan or, or a big a big offer, let's say, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars which, for, you know, in our space is a good size deal, you know, that's a quick way to say, well, you know, I'm not sure I want to commit to something so big because the trust level is just not there. If I instead come up and offer um, a phase one project, we, we already have a four phase project when we develop membership sites and, um, you know, uh, online course marketing programs. So, you know, we go in there and we really work at understanding what the problem is, make sure we define it well. Uh, offer our recommendations on best practices, and then that leads to a second engagement or a, a proposal that then is that larger project. It works much better because at the beginning in that first call, they don't really know us. So they're, you know, back of their mind, they're thinking, you know, maybe this guy's website, and you know, maybe there's a, this guy's smoke and mirrors. Maybe it's it's all a facade, and behind the scenes, they're no good. And there have been enough. Um, you know, I want to say charlatans in the past, you know, probably in their recent memory even, that gets them very suspicious about doing business with someone new. So if I offer something that's, you know, two, $3,000, it's, it's kind of a first step into the relationship. The risk that the client has to take to begin doing business with me is much smaller. Um, they don't feel like they've got to invest, you know, the whole this whole huge amount in order to find out later that I'm no good, you know, they'll risk, you know, two, $3,000 and say, well, what's the worst that could happen? This guy totally doesn't deliver and he chokes. But now as we start working a couple of weeks, you know, now we're, we're looking at what they're doing. Uh, my team and I get a chance to show that we know what we're doing. We can make recommendations. You know, we can look over the architecture that they've used for their membership site and maybe call out things that, that we think were not done just right. Now for me to make that larger proposal, that larger offer makes a lot more sense. And, and now the person in the back of their mind isn't thinking, Hey, are they any good? You know, are they, you know, are they trying to pull one on me? They're thinking, Hey, I picked the right person. And now it's just a matter of discussing how much is it going to cost? What's it going to include? And then what's the project plan that gets me from point A to B? So bigger is not always better. Small can sometimes be a really good next step in order to make sure that we've got the trust level where we want it so that we can move things along later when the trust levels are high. And that's when we get the real deal. Take care.